Happy Easter! Well, I would like to share this experience from my childhood days. When I was a kid, we have this family reunion. Since Holy Week is holiday, we can go to our province. We have a very big family. My mother has 11 siblings. Yes, 11 siblings. Mother's side alone. We used to ride a van because we can't all fit in a car. Some of my aunties and their families go to our house and yeah, that's the start of the 8 to 10 hour drive. Road trip! One time, my brother's friend was with us. He's part of the family, so yeah! While we were in the highway, you know, typical province, mountain on one side and cliff on the other side and lots of trees, houses hiding somewhere, a tricycle from nowhere crashed behind us. Well, not really. Um, like some scratches only. The tricycle driver was so mad. He thinks he can just ask money from us to pay for the damages. But hey, it was his fault. So my titos and my brothers, my brother and his friend, my adopted brother, my brother from another parents, went out of the vehicle. May problema ba dito pare? And then tricycle driver was like, Wala po sir, pasensya na po. So we continued the trip and ignored the poor guy. Seaside, yes. My mother's family used to live near the sea. Some of her brothers still live there until now. Since it's a big family reunion, the plan was Survivor Family Edition. I think it's an island. We used motorboats to go to our destination. The place is um, uh, it's not maintained because it's not owned by anyone, but the water is so clear and the sun is so white. Also, it's child-friendly because the water level increases gradually. You're so far from the shore, but still the water is only like knee level. That's the reason why they chose that particular place because there are many kids around including me. I don't know how to swim. Okay, high tide. We need to go home. We have filmed the trip, but unfortunately, I don't know where our copy is. I'm not sure how many boats were used. Four to five, I think. Some of the boats went in different directions. I don't know why, and I don't have any idea. The boat is sinking. Group yourselves into... No, that didn't happen. Well, one boat lost its balance but was able to regain it. Thank god, they were so worried because my Lola was on that boat. My Lola jumped out of that boat and my brother also jumped out of that boat and he was in this heroic stunt and he slammed to this thing called Kati, the balancer. There's a red, red mark across his chest. Good thing no one was in that boat and Everyone knows how to swim except for one, my papa. While the boat is leaning on one side, he goes to the other side and try to balance. He's holding a pack of cigarette and a lighter and he didn't drop it. Don't drop it then. Okay, fast forward. We're already in the house of my Lola and everyone is so exhausted except for my Papa. He was able to remain calm all the time and that's a good survival tip. Yeah. He was still joking about that experience like I can't let go of the cigarette pack and the lighter and why would I jump out of the boat? The boatman said that there was a whirlpool. Ipo ipong dagat. Wow. So if we lost our luck then no. It was pretty scary because the danger of the whirlpool and the boat engine was still working there for the fan blade can cut you. I was just a kid that time and I'm not aware of what's happening, like super clueless. All I remember is that they are screaming and I was like, huh? Anyare. So that's one of the family reunion, holy week, whirlpool story. 
according to my memory. So, thank you.